I'm Stuart, one of the partners at Wellers. So we have a varying uh, amount of people in the organisation. We're across four offices, London, Tame, uh, Banbury and Oxford, and I'm the relationship partner for GHM. So Wellers is in its 80th year. We've just celebrated that this year. We have uh, approximately 100 um, staff and partners. Um, we cover a general practice. The services we use from GHM have evolved uh, over time, so I think the, the key thing is GHM communications. So the services that they provide are communication services um, in whatever form um, that requires. So the original telephony needs have evolved, so now we have um, gone on to uh, a Teams platform where we've got an integrated telephony uh, and Teams system, uh, which obviously uh, during recent times has been invaluable. In terms of the solution that we were looking for at the time, there were a few key uh, elements. It needed to do everything that the old system had done. So it needed to allow us to communicate with our clients, with our staff across the four offices. It also needed to be a robust system ready for the future. Um, at the time, the pandemic had hit and it needed to be rolled out quickly as well. So they were the key criteria at the time. We needed a hosted um, system because we needed somebody to call on, uh, pun intended, uh, to be able to understand the system and help that evolve with us. The importance of integrating the system in the modern world is, is absolutely invaluable. We needed a system that people could use in the same way that they uh, currently were logging into their various different environments. So if you have a system that um, isn't there ready to be switched on straight away every time somebody uh, comes to go to work, um, then it's not properly integrated and it becomes a, a barrier to getting these people to, um, to be able to do what they need to do. So the integration, making sure um, that it worked with Office 365, uh, making sure that the telephone numbers, the databases all were available to staff was really, really important. Um, and so that um, became a, a, a very key part of our um, solution list, if you like, when we were assessing what to go for. I think the relationship that we have uh, with uh, the various different people at GHM was key in that. Uh, when we scoped out what we required, I was able to pick up the phone, have a chat about the general uh, requirements, um, and it, it was more like a brainstorm of right, what's the right solution for you. It wasn't, um, I wasn't looking uh, at uh, being sold something off the shelf. It was a bespoke package. They understood our needs from the history that we had with them, uh, and they understood what we didn't need as well, which was, which was really important. So there were a couple of um, associated solutions um, that um, we'd, we'd looked at and we decided on you know, conversations with GHM that we didn't need to take those on as well. The most useful uh, features um, of, the, of the software and, and the associated hardware is that we really do uh, have an integrated working environment for uh, our staff, no matter where they are. And um, that change that everybody's gone through with agile working and working from home meant that we needed to find that solution and we needed to make it second nature to all of our various different staff and partners. So the um, evolution to the new system um, was really um, part of our overall growth as a firm, as a business, and it needed to align with our strategies and, and it perfectly did that at the time. Um, but some of the little things are really important. So it was very important to us that the, the guys that traditionally answered the phones were able to do that in uh, a way that suited them. So we were able to work on that sp specific area we were able to introduce some things that we hadn't needed in the past. So door entry system that integrated into um, the telephony, uh, a system that used um, a, a tiered approach for who would answer 
um, showing availability of people in a, in a more integrated fashion. Um, so you didn't need to look at two screens to work out who was in and where they were and what they were doing within Outlook and the calendar, for example. It was all within um, the Teams telephony system. Those sorts of little things were, um, were the pinch points that make change work. Uh, and it was, it was the advice and the help that we got from GHM, um, particularly right from the planning stage, uh, that made that happen. The customer benefit, the client benefit that Wellers has received has been uh, in numerous different ways. Uh, obviously having an integrated system where you can share data uh, in real time uh, has been great and obviously necessary during uh, recent years. But, but also being contactable during working hours, being con contactable in the different format. So we didn't need um, to be sharing a mobile number, a DDI and a general number. Um, people can ring the general number and they can get hold of us wherever we are um, using the new system. The most unexpected benefit was that um, the system was rolled out so quickly. Uh, we had a, a 365 uh, integration planned. Uh, we had an upgrade for the telephone system planned and uh, then the pandemic hit and everything needed to be done twice as quick. Uh, and I phoned GHM. Um, we uh, were expecting a lead time uh, of a few months and they turned it around amazingly quickly. The, the office and the team benefits are um, not just work related. So with the new um, hybrid working, um, agile working policies that we have, it's important that people stay in contact even more. Um, you don't get that office camaraderie necessarily as much as you used to. Um, people don't uh, necessarily feel as if, um, you know, picking up the phone um, uh, can keep you in contact in, in a proper fashion. So the integrated system that we have, the Teams module that's linked to it, it enables the teams to properly connect. They can chat um, within Teams, they can obviously call, they can do video calls within Teams. There's a number of functions that they can do. Um, and we've also used it in, in social environments. So during the pandemic, when we weren't able to get together, uh, it's been one of those systems that's enabled us to stay together on a social level. Um, the onboarding uh, process and the implementation uh, were really well handled. Uh, it's, a, it's a relatively intuitive system for people that are used to um, using um, software. Um, that's not necessarily the case for people uh, that are used to telephony systems, are used to some sort of reception and um, those types of um, infrastructures. So the, the implementation was split into two. Uh, it dealt with uh, the general um, staff, so myself and um, all of the partners um, and the um, client service staff. That um, went relatively smoothly. And then we needed to make sure that these guys that have been on reception, the guys that were taking the calls, the main calls that come through, we needed to make sure that there was a special implementation for those guys. So they understood not only how uh, Teams worked, and how that functionality worked, but also how the telephony system worked in the background, where the numbers came from, how they could do you know, basic things like transferring, like putting calls on hold, like taking messages, all of those things. Um, change more significantly um, than probably for the rest of the firm. So it was that segregation uh, of the implementation uh, that was dealt with really well. The scalability of the um, system was obviously key in our uh, initial requirements. So it needed to work for the current number of staff, it needed to work for more staff as, as they come on. So um, over recent months we've taken on a number of new employees, um, we've taken on um, various different um, office spaces and all of those things, the, the systems managed to evolve. Uh, the other benefit in relation to that is the onboarding process is much cleaner. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased to have heard that new staff that have started with us have been set up very quickly. They've got their IDs, they have got their numbers much more quickly than they would have done in the past 
with, a, with an old um, uh, system. The ongoing support from GHM has um, taken a similar route to the initial discussions. Um, so you can pick up the phone, um, you can let the guys know what it is that you need, uh, very responsive um, and, and the speed in which the turnaround um, of various different smaller projects has taken place since the overall implementation has been great. It, it's that trusted um, relationship, it's, it's somebody that knows your business and knows what you need um, and how to deliver it based on the experience that they've got not only of the, the industry but also of us.